Welcome to the Grow Your Business Cleveland video series. Co-producing and appearing in the series, the talented GYB CLE interns. Supporting sponsors include NOAC, a regional partnership of Chambers of Commerce, New Image Media, Northeast Ohio's most recognized name in video for business. In this episode, Jane Pierce, business owner, artist, and environmental enthusiast, shares four tips to get your stuff in magazines. After the tip, we go backstage and learn about Jane's Terminal Tower memories, Olive Bites, Hobby Turned Into Career, and more. My name is Jane Pierce. My company is Z Jane, and I'm going to share four tips to get your stuff in magazines. These are great tips if you're an artist, a maker, have a product you'd like to get featured in a magazine. The first one is get yourself on social media. You have to have an online presence. Magazines will find you online. I know it sounds like Probably people have to contact magazines, and you can do it that way. But actually, I've been very lucky. Magazines will find you if you get yourself out there. At least a dozen magazines have found me online. So tip number two is when they contact you, when a magazine contacts you, send them your product. Don't send a high pixel picture. Don't, you know, try to make it work yourself. Send the product. Let go of your product and send it to them. That is a free photo shoot. They do a beautiful job. You, they'll send it back to you. They always send it back. Even if you try to give it to them, they send it back. So tip number three is write your own article for the magazine. You might think that uh, you know, they're going to do that article, and they can, but they will never say what you're capable of saying about your product. So write that article, give it a shot, they'll tweak it. They might even pay you. Uh, you don't know that, they don't, you know, announce that they will, but it's happened to me, the check arrived in the mail, and to my surprise. And my last tip, tip number four, is be patient. It takes a year to get in a magazine. You'll, you'll forget about it, and then You'll get an email or you'll get a complimentary copy of the magazine and sometimes even front page. It's just amazing. Just put it out there and it'll come back. Up next, we get to know Jane. Favorite childhood things stay with you for the rest of your life, especially when those memories happen in Cleveland. This Cleveland attraction reminds Jane of happy memories. The Terminal Tower. I love Cleveland. I love the Terminal Tower. When I was growing up in Cleveland, we, my sister and I, we would take the rapid transit downtown, and the first one that saw the Terminal Tower would sing, I see the Terminal Tower. And it was pretty cool. We didn't win anything, but it really is a, an awesome memory of ours. And just recently at the Cleveland Film Festival, they had the observation deck open, and I was able to go up there and that was pretty awesome for me. The artist community wouldn't exist without a loyal following. Jane shares a few of her favorite artists. When I started on Etsy, there was a blogger, her name is Kat Ivins, and I believe her blog is called Olive Bites. And I would just always read whatever she was writing about because there's humor and, and helpful information on how to run your business online. It really made a difference. And, I started my online business, you know, on, on Etsy, and I was, you know, I wasn't new. I was new at taking photographs. I was new at describing the product. I was new at understanding what tag words were and all that kind of thing. And, and uh, Kat Ivins was, she was sharing all that kind of information. And so that's why I, I followed her blog. And then locally, there's a, uh, an upcycle artist, Nicole McGee, and she's involved with the upcycle parts shop. And also a pop-up shop called Collective Upcycle. And that pops up once or twice a year. And whenever, wherever they're going, I follow them wherever they go. At the Collective Upcycle, which is a pop-up shop, they will um, have all these different artists that make products and sell them at their shop. So I sell my products there. I, I sell my laundry pillows that are filled with lavender. I also uh, take t-shirt material and I make bags and uh, right now, I've got a lot of them that have the CLE on them. This 1960s Disney film influenced Jane's daily philosophy on her career. My favorite quote is, enough is as good as the feast. And that is a quote from, I heard it on Mary Poppins, but I believe it's an English quote. And it pretty much means similar to what I do, and that is if you, if you have enough, that's really all you need. You don't have to keep getting more and more and more. Um, this is uh, actually has my quote on it. This was made locally by a metalsmith. 
Her name is Susan, and her business is Stones, S-T-O-N-Z. And this is a piece of beach glass that I found on Lake Erie. And this is a terminal tower spoon. And then she, st and she you know, took it all apart and worked her magic. And then here it says, enough is as good as a feast. So how did Jane score as a Grow Your Business Cleveland expert? We gave a thumbs up for giving back to the environment, making cool artwork, being a Poppins fan, and helping local artists promote their work. Special thanks goes to our Grow Your Business Cleveland contributing experts for supporting our mission of growing business and kickstarting careers in Northeast Ohio. So don't miss a video or an opportunity to be part of the show. Subscribe at GYBCLE.com and follow us on our social media channels. And remember, if you like it, share it.